explain something to some of y'all that might have an ounce of intelligence. When you rat on a homeless person, you're hurting yourself. Let me explain to you how it really works. Homeless people don't care to go to jail. I personally spend all my time, except for using the bathroom, in this small tent. A jail cell is bigger than this tent. I'm dying and I don't care. Do you understand? Okay. Now, most homeless people don't even care about going to jail because they, they get fed and they got a bed and most of them watch TV, smoke cigs or whatever. Now, it will cost your county, your state, your country, maybe $75 a day for a jail cell for a homeless person. Now, if you do the math, if you're not medicated, it's plumb stupid. Yes, I'm being just a little bit sarcastic because I'm tired of your crap. Okay? Now, if you do the math, that's 2200 something a month. Now, the state of Kentucky and all the states, they're going to recoup their money. How did they get their money back? They raise your land taxes, your house taxes, your car taxes, your insurance payments, and so on and so forth. Your electricity and your water. Yeah, do you get it? Right. Now, if you're comprehending and you have any ounce of intelligence, this means when you call the police on a homeless person that may be staying in your building, or a barn, or whatever, and they're not bothering you. They're not, they're not stealing your clothes, or, or stealing your food, or causing a disturbance. They're just occupying space. And the police take them to jail. You're actually hurting yourself, your community, your town, your state, your country. Because it all comes back to you. Oh, they'll inch, inch up your taxes a penny or two pennies or two. But they'll do it to everybody to get their money back. Now, before you call the police on another homeless person, understand, it's going to cost you anyway. Now, the smart thing would be and I haven't met too many smart people here lately. The smart thing would be to help a homeless person and leave them alone. Let them camp out on your back 40 or on your property. They're not going to sue you. They're homeless. They don't have $100,000 to hire an attorney. Okay? What are they going to steal? What are they going to hurt? If you weren't so medicated stupid and brainwashed by your TV and your radio, you would see that. Now, as for me, I'm going to land somewhere else. I don't know where. I don't care where. At some point, with my heart condition, I'm not going to be able to to leave when I'm told to leave. Now, this is my medical refusal documentation. This says I refuse medical treatment. I do not want medical assistance. I do not want 911 called. And it is under religious amnesty. I have declared it. Plus, a KRS law. Okay, you can read this, it's legal, and it's signed. I land in jail, and it will happen eventually, I'm sure. I have to have a handicap cell because I'm in a wheelchair. And I do not watch TV, so I'm hoping 
that they're smart enough to put me in a cell by myself. Because if they put me in a cell with other inmates, yeah, they will have trouble. Yes, I will cause trouble because I will be up there turning the TV off. So it's smarter to just put me in a cell by myself. Now, if any of you have any intelligence whatsoever, and I'm really praying you do, if you see me, probably a really good idea if you can't help me by donating food or money, it's probably a good idea to leave me alone. Because at some point, if you don't, God will get you. I've showed you that. Peace. Shalom. And see ya.